All right, here we go. This will be the last one. Uh, how many seconds are in a day? So that's the question. How many seconds are in a day? First, think about how many hours are in a day. How many hours are in a day? Uh, 24, right? Okay. So then how many minutes are in an hour? There's 60 minutes in an hour. Okay. How many seconds are in a minute? Well, there's 60 seconds in a minute. Oh, okay. Okay, so 60 seconds in a minute times 60 minutes, because 60 minutes is an hour, and then times 24 hours in a day. Okay, so 60 seconds times 60 minutes ends up being 3,600 seconds in an hour. Makes sense? Okay, and then you would take that, that hour, 3,600 seconds in an hour, and multiply it by 24 because there's 24 hours in a day. And that ends up getting you this big number, 86400, 86,000. Um, <clears throat> okay, this is like a, a plot. And so it says goals per game. You've got one, two, three, four goals per game. So this would be a game here. So one game here has got three or more goals. There was only one game that had four goals. There was two games that had two goals. Get that? And so the question, how many had three or more goals? So you would block in goals per game, three or more. That would be three and four. So you would block in these four, or these these right here and count them up one two three four five six so that would be six now what if X stood for two like two games so that would be two for each of these so you'd go two times what do we count six and so that would be 12 instead so just pay attention things to pay attention to is like what's down here and then most likely the, the little X's or the plots are going to be one, but just be careful. They might put, like, you know, each one represents two or three or four or something like that. So there's that. Um, how many games were played total? So what stands for games? The X. So you'd count up all the X's, which ends up being 12. Um, did more people score three or two goals? Three or two goals. What does that mean? Goals per game. Did more people score three? Well, these are goals per game. So goals per game, three, and you got all those, right? This is goals per game, two, and you got those. So who scored more? Three, right there. Get it? All right, uh, next, a little bit of time. <coughs> You're going from a 740 to a 225. How much time has passed? Uh, easy way... <coughs> first thing that most people probably do in their heads, they start counting by, adults even do it by with their fingers. So you're going from a 740 to an 840, so that's 1. 840 to 940 is 2. 940 to 1040. 1040 to 1140. 1140 to 1240. So there's 5. And then you go one more, that would be 6, which brings you up to 140. And I'm going to stop there, because I can't go up to 240, because I'm trying to go to 225. So right now I'm just going to write down 6, so I don't get lost. I've got six hours so far. Now I need to get this 40, this 140, up to a 225. So I'm going to bring that 140 up to 2 o'clock, because 2 o'clock is a lot easier to work with. So 140 to 2 o'clock is plus 20 minutes. And then to go from a 2 o'clock to a 225 is plus 25 more minutes. So add that up, and you end up getting 45 minutes. So your total is six hours, 45 minutes. What about um, <clears throat> like a subtraction problem like this? You got 1045 minus 255. You could say something like, um, uh, you know, how much time has passed? Uh, so you could go 1045 minus 245. You're going to take your big number up on top. But see this? Here's the problem. You can't take 45 from 55. Well, sorry, you can't take 55 from 45. So kind of like the fractions, what we're going to do when we borrow, we're bringing something over. But we're not going to bring over one. What are we going to bring over? This is hours. This is minutes. How many minutes are in an hour? 60. So when I borrow from this, I'm going to bring over 60. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? I'm going to borrow an hour. That's going to drop it down to a 9. Here's where I did it. Drop the 10 down to a 9. Bring over 60 minutes. 60 plus 45 minutes that were already there ends up being 105 minutes. All right, so then now I can go ahead and subtract. I can go 9 minus 2, which ends up being 7, and then 105 minutes minus 55 minutes equals 50 minutes. And so that would be 7 hours and 50 minutes. Um, 
goes by. You get it? Pretty cool, I guess. Probably should have labeled that they were, um, um, one would be, let's see, this would have to be, um, AM, right? 10.45 AM. And then, uh, 2.55 Wait a second, what did I do here? I gotta check this out. Okay, uh, so what I what I originally had here was I had, let's say, 1045 as like the start point, and then the kid started two hours and 55 minutes, you know, two hours and 55 minutes ago, or they were at the movie for two hours and 55 minutes before getting out at 1045, or something like that. So I was taking this two hours and 55 minutes from it, which brings me down to um, 7 hours and 50 minutes, or I could say 7.50. So it was like 7.50. Um, if it were like going from 10.45 to 2.55, it would be a little different, right? Then I'd draw a line, and I'd start out at 10.45, and then go up to 2.55. And I'd go 10.45 to 11.45, and then to 12.45, and then to 1.45, and then to 2.45, I could make it all the way to 2.45. Now, how many bumps is that? One, two, three, four. So that's four hours. So I'd have four hours there. And then to go from a 45 to a 55 would be 10 more minutes. So it would be four hours and 10 minutes. So if it was how much time is it from 10.45 to 2.55, it would have been four hours and 10 minutes. Um, but if it said, okay, uh, you were let out of a movie at 10.45, and the movie was um, 2 hours and 55 minutes long, what time did the movie start? The movie started at 7.50. So that would be uh, how to do that one, I guess. All right, next. <clears throat> um, combinations are usually pretty simple. Um, you just, most of the time you just take the numbers and multiply them. So I have three shoes, okay, I've got four shirts, so how many outfits? You just go three times four and you get twelve. Um, but what if they give you something like this? This looks kind of complicated, doesn't it? I have one red, I have one red, one blue, one yellow, one, one pink shirt. I have one red, blue, yellow, and pink socks. So here's the things that are changing. I've got shirts, I've got socks, I've got shorts. So, question, how many shirts do I have? Shirts were one, two, three, four. I had four, right? How many socks did I have? One, two, three, four. Four different kinds of socks. And how many shorts did I have? Four different kinds of shorts. So you just kind of ask yourself and then start multiplying it all together. So you go four times four, which is 16. And then 16 times four, which ends up being 64. So this, all of this right here, you could wear 64 different ways somehow. That would take you a long time to map out. One red with one red with one red, one red with one blue with one red. You get the idea. All right. <clears throat> Aryan perimeter. I think this is it. This is the final thing. Okay, so Aryan perimeter. Perimeter goes around the edge, around the edge, around the edge. Perimeter goes around the edge. Area's in the middle. Um, <clears throat> if I'm trying to find perimeter, I just add it all up. So I started adding it all up, and I just cross these out as I go. I like 10. He works well. I put 8 and 2 together. That's 10. And then 4 and 3 is 7. Add it all up, and you get 34. So that's the perimeter. Okay, let's say it was the same shape, um, but now I want to find the area. The first thing I need to do, because area, the formula for area, right? Area equals length times width. If I could split these guys up into boxes, it would be easier. And so I just drew a line. Do, 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 do. And now you got to do a little bit of thinking here. You can't just start multiplying numbers. Like this box right here is not 10 anymore. It's actually going to be 8. So box number 1, I just labeled it box 1, is a 7 times 8. See that? Not a 10, because 10 goes all the way across. Now box 2 would be a 2 times 3, which equals 6. So this guy is 56 square whatever units, and this guy would be 6 square units. And then you add it up and boom, 62 square units. And I just said, just be careful not to use the 10, because the 10 went all the way across. 
All right, um, perimeter goes around the edge, around the edge, perimeter goes around the edge, perimeter's in the middle. Okay, so let's say they give you this, perimeter. Now, I can't, I can't do perimeter yet. Look, uh, it would be like saying 3 plus 9. What do you think kids always put? 12! Yeah, it's not 12. You only got half of it. You got to finish it. So if there was 3 on this side, you'd have 3 on this side. If there's 9 on this side, you go 9 on that side, right? So 3 and 3 is 6. 9 and 9 is 18. You, and then you add that up. Um, another way to think of it, 3 and 9 is 12, so that would have been half of it. So double that, and you get 24. So 24, uh, whatever, feet, inches, whatever they say. Area, you're just going to multiply length times width. Length is 9, width is 3. So 3 times 9 equals 27. So you'd say 27 square, whatever. <clears throat> and so here it is down here. Area equals 27, and perimeter is 24. Okay, well, what about like when they give you some shapes and they say, what's the area of this triangle? Um, you'll actually find out what the areas of triangles are later in like probably sixth grade, maybe fifth grade. But anyway, <coughs> um, right here, if they, if they count it up in boxes first, just count all of your full boxes. So I count one, two, three, four full boxes, right? Then, after that, start putting together pieces. So, like, this half goes with that half to make one. And then, like, this half of a box and that half go together to make one. And then, like, this uh, super small piece kind of goes with that big piece there. So that would end up being another one. And you add all that up, and you get seven. <coughs> okay. Uh, what about this? Everything's looking good. Um, except here's where kids always forget. Look, there's nothing labeled right here. So you're going to have to find out what those sides are before you can start um, cutting everything up. Um, okay, so first, perimeter, first find the other sides. Okay, so if it's 10 going across here, and I've got 8 going from here to here, look, 10, eight, uh, then that means that this line right here, because this line plus this line should equal 10, right? So that 8 with this 2. Okay, well, if it's 7 going up this way, and I've got 3 already, 7 minus 3 is 4. So that tells you that this side here is 4. And so now I can start adding stuff up. If I go and add up all the perimeter... <clears throat> um, gosh, I don't even know. Let's see. 10 is a good number. 7 and 8 is 15, plus 10. We're up to 25. So I did you, and I did that, and I did that. 4 and 2 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So 25 plus 9 equals 34. So I think the area, or the perimeter is 34. Um, area, now remember, I'm going to have to cut it up. So I'm going to cut this just like a, 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 a line down here, or a box right there. And now I just got to be a little bit more careful about, like, okay, which one am I doing? I'm going to call this box 1. Now box 1 is not 10 across. It's 7 by 8. So 7 times 8 is 56. And then box 2 is the 2 times 3, which ends up being 6, um, because 2 times 3 is 6. And then you add that, and you're back to that 62 that we found earlier. But basically, it's this. You've got to find, if you want to find the perimeter, you've got to find out what those, those edges were. And so just start looking around at your pieces. Um, and that's it. Uh, these are extra practice pages. I'll just kind of flip through them in case you don't have this. Um, <clears throat> you can pause it if you want. What I would do on, these, on the book is, uh, I don't know, create your own. Try making your own problems and then seeing if they work out. Uh, you could bring them to me and I'll check them out for you, if you're in my classroom, of course. And that's it. That is the happiest little math book that will ever help you forever and ever. And you get the idea.